Hi everyone, I'm here again with David Wright. David's at our Fitness for 10 studio in Carson City. Thanks for being here, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. Now, this is something that, you know, for instance, you doing shows is going to change on where you at, what season you're in as far as getting ready for a show or being off season or whatever. And it's going to change for me for sure on what my age is. I'm in my 60s and what I did in my 20s. So we'll talk, a, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what people eat or should eat or what your choices are before you work out. What's the benefits and what's the negatives about certain foods maybe. So if you guys like uh, fitness tips for beginners uh, or older adults, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. So uh, David, let's talk about, okay, you're in your forties. And so let's say you're trying to bulk up. So let's say you're in the off season or, or you you don't have a show really in sight. What do you like to eat before you work out and how soon before your workout do you eat? <clears throat> so, yeah, for me, um, you know, not prepping for a show before, I work out generally about a half hour or an hour, just kind of depending on when I'm going to the gym. Um, I, I'm generally going to be eating something moderate in carbohydrates, quite a bit of protein. Currently, um, of course, prepping for a show, it's a little bit different, but uh, still carbohydrates in there, some oatmeal um, and, you know, some egg whites, a, a whole egg in there as well. So a good dose of protein and then some carbohydrates to help fuel that, but clean carbs. So I want to kind of make that distinction because um, not all carbohydrates are created equal. Um, so when I say carbohydrates, it's generally something along the lines of, you know, uh, like a white rice, or in this case, what I'm doing now is oatmeal. So something, a clean carb that can be easily digested and, and easily absorbed through the body and, and really get you that energy fairly quickly so it can help power through your through your workouts. Okay, so you said you'll eat 30 minutes to an hour before your workout. <clears throat> Correct. Right. Okay, so when I was really training like a madman, you know, college sports and stuff like that, <clears throat> I, I was, you know, I was sitting at 6,000 calories a day. So I was just kind of pounding whatever I could get in, you know, to get up to that that number, which is not easy to do. No. Um, but compared to now, I mean, in my 20s, I had to have, you know, carbs before and after. And I've always been an amino acid guy. But let me talk a little bit about what I do now, what I can do now in my 60s. Um, I don't have to eat anything before a workout. I can work out fasted. Now, when I was younger, I never would have tried that. That just wouldn't have worked. But it works now. It's amazing. I don't even notice that I didn't eat. However, I don't, I don't do that. Um, well, if I'm not going to put any calories in or a lot of calories, and I, can, I, don't, I don't need to eat carbs before a workout either. Um, but I'm pounding the amino acids. You hear this on my channel all the time. I'm pounding the amino acids. So I'll take a couple scoops of amino acids. Um, and then I'll also take some arginine, some citrulline, some ornithane. And I'll take some, some more essential amino acids. And so I'm, I'm just loading up on the amino acids about 30 minutes before I go to the gym. And just in, you know, that's a good 20 grams of just amino acids, which is probably going to be equivalent to about 70 or 75 grams of protein, I would mm -hmm. estimate. You think so? Yeah. Because it's singular free form amino acids. So your body doesn't have to take it apart and then put the amino acid chains back together into a, into forming a protein. So I'm estimating it's, it's probably equivalent to about 70 grams 
of protein. If, if I would have just ate 70 grams of protein, but the calories are much less amino acids, you know, the singular form, you, you do have to count some calories for that. So they do break a fast, but I can do that. And when I take those amino acids, I'm also taking a scoop of five or six grams of creatine in those amino acids. And I usually do that before I work out. Sometimes I'll do it in addition after I work out. And so that's given my body the nutrients to help support the muscle and to grow the muscle, or in my case, hopefully maintain muscle. I, I think I can still put on a little muscle, even though I've been doing it for 40 years and I'm kind of old now, but I'll do it after sometimes too. And then, um, the other thing I'll do is sometimes I'll do my protein shake, which is about 75 grams of protein with the amino acids. That does have some carbs. It has a cup full of um, blueberries. So not a lot of carbs, but I can do it. And I can get through my workout just like whether I ate carbs or not. Um, my carbs are usually under 100 calories every day. And I just couldn't have gotten away with that uh, 40 years ago. There's no way I, I could have gotten away with that. So um, what do you, what, how, when you're coaching people, David, mm -hmm. what, I know that every single person's an individual. And what I'm talking about is, look, everyone's different. But how do you handle your clients and with what their goals are, what they're trying to accomplish, what their age is, what their body, all these things matter, right? Your body composition, if you've got a lot of fat on you, um, what is your age? What are your goals? What are you trying to do? So how do you handle that individually with your clients as far as what they should eat before and after? Yeah, so you're, you're absolutely right in terms of everybody's kind of got different factors that that would lead to uh, different suggestions. So what I generally do, even the very first time that I meet somebody, even before they're a client, as we sit down for their introductory session here at the gym, as I'm talking to them, I'm finding out not just, you know, how is your diet? Because we kind of ask that question in general, you know, rate yourself one through 10. Some people are really, really honest and say, you know, gosh, it's like a four and you know, terrible or whatever. Some people say I'm a 10. But I go further than that, even in that introductory session saying, okay, give me an example of what you're currently eating, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. So then I get an idea um, very specifically before I even start training so I can understand where they're coming from. And then when we have conversations as a client, um, you know, I look at things like their age, their activity levels, how often they're coming to see me, how often they come to the gym you know, without me training them just kind of on their own. Um, but I make the recommendations really based on, you know, if it's, you know, a weight loss goal, you know, they want to lose 30 pounds, um, you know, okay, what is your, you know, I already know what they're currently eating, so I can have a better, more in-depth conversation with them of, okay, well, let's look at a journaling for, you know, a week, let's say. I want you to write down everything for a week. Don't leave anything out. Don't worry if you ate fast food today and, you know, ice cream tomorrow. Just write it down. I need to see kind of what you're what you're currently intaking so we can look at that and maybe we take out one one thing at a time or whatever that looks like because i try to make it so everybody understands it's not an impossible task and you don't have to change your diet 100 percent. so when people are coming before they work out my general suggestion is you know we need to have something within your stomach so a light snack of some sort if they have any kind of um, you know, dietary needs you know uh, gluten-free, any of those types of things, I always want to make sure that they understand, you know, eat something that you can eat that's not going to affect, you know, anything else. So if you're gluten-free, eat something gluten-free, but I, I need you to have some kind of calories um, within your system. Don't go eat a, you know, a giant feast before you come because, you know, that can lead to other complications uh, when you come to the gym, side aches, things like that. But generally something light, bring in water, everybody all the time. I'm always telling them, bring water with you. And I'm really big on them drinking water throughout the day and helping increase that as well to help everything feel better and kind of keep everything going. So that's the general recommendation is a light, some kind of a light meal. If they come at the, toward the end of the day, like five, six o'clock at night, then of course they've probably eaten several times. I just try to say, you know, within that last hour or so, 
try not to eat anything that's too big of a meal. Um, and that way you can, you know, feel a little bit more free to, to move around and we don't have a big meal on our stomach at that point. Okay. Uh, we thank, thanks for your input, David. And the, the last thing that I would say, just as far as um, what I do and what I think is important, is I want to make sure that my amino acid pool is full of lots of amino acids. So I'm getting protein before and after or amino acids before and after. So that my body has um, abundant amount of amino acids so that it can do what it needs to do or what it wants to do around my workout. Now, I think that's important whether you're 20 or whether you're 65 to have that protein there so that your body, when it wants it, it can take it and make the protein change that it needs. So I think that's what's most important, but everyone's different. You got to kind of feel this out for yourself. And it takes time sometimes to learn your body. I know my body, you know, I know my body very well, but I, it, and it, but it still changes. So I got to stay on top of it. So David, um, if anybody wants to get a hold of you, or if, let's say they want to follow you on social media, how do they do that? So they can follow both my personal uh, page, which tracks my progress for the show that's coming up in August, but also my kind of progress throughout the years. That's on Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. And then for my personal training page, it's going to have personal training tips, boot camp, things like that. It's at Wright Fitness Training on Instagram. Okay. David, thanks for being with us and we will talk to you next time. Thanks, Steve.